California Arcade Museum presents our top five games from 1985. Number five, Space Harrier. With ultra high-tech 16-bit graphics and scaled sprite technology, Space Harrier was pretty groundbreaking. As the title character, Harrier, you simultaneously fly and shoot your way through 18 levels, culminating with battles against the previous bosses on the last stage. One of the first successful rail shooters, this game spawned several spin-offs and even an arcade sequel in the year 2000. Number 4, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. We've already had three games featuring Harrison Ford and we're only at 1985. Maybe the key to a successful game is hiring Harrison Ford. Er, er, maybe not. In this game, you play as Indy, armed with your bullwhip and saving kidnapped children, but the most fun you'll have is riding the minecarts down the tracks to the next level. Number 3, Ghosts and Goblins. This side-scroller redefined the genre. You play a knight named Arthur, hey that's my dog's name, battling zombies, demons, and other mythical creatures on your quest to save Princess Prin Prin. How's that for an alliteration? This game was so popular, it spawned over a dozen spin-offs and was released on several consoles. What I remember most about this was that it was so f***ing hard to beat. Number 2, Paperboy. For those of us who never had a paper route as a kid, Paperboy was a ton of fun. It might have been less enjoyable for those of you who were getting up at 4am for your route. As the titular paperboy, you ride up the street, attempting to deliver papers onto your customers' doorsteps or into their mailboxes, while avoiding obstacles like runaway lawnmowers, kids on big wheels, and brake dancers on the sidewalk. Plus, it had bicycle handlebars for a controller. How cool is that? Number 1. Gauntlet. Welcome. I'm sure this won't be the last time I say this in these videos, but Gauntlet is my favorite arcade game of all time. Four simultaneous players with different skills, an endless variety of mazes, and an infinite amount of health, so long as you keep adding credits, I'll make this a classic in my book. The narrator's catchphrases will be stuck in your head for years. Fire find the way out. That was a heroic effort. There were several sequels, as many of them comparable to the first. Well, not this one. <sighs> so what'd we miss? Tell us about your favorite game from 1985 in the comments. And please support California Arcade Museum by following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at CA Arcade. Thanks for watching.